can schizophrenia be prevented? Well, what we know is that there is a genetic basis for schizophrenia. So if you have a family history of schizophrenia, you're more likely to, to have it as well. Although the risk is still small um, if you have a family member. Um, so uh, that part cannot be changed. You know, your genes are your genes. Um, however, uh, there's uh, definitely a role of environment. And so uh, what we know is that the perinatal period, the period of pregnancy, uh, delivery, and, um, and just after delivery, is a sensitive period for brain development, and schizophrenia is a brain disorder. And so um, there's, uh, you know, there's promise that if we can provide better prenatal care so that, um, so that uh, pregnant mothers get good nutrition, avoid uh, uh, infections and toxins, um, and uh, have a lower risk of, of bleeding or a low birth weight baby, that, that possibly we can um, influence their risk for schizophrenia. Um, also, um, uh, trauma and stressful uh, life circumstances, and in particular childhood abuse, may contribute to uh, the development of schizophrenia. And so, um, addressing those risks in our in our communities and in our, in our families is really important. And helping to nurture children who are healthy um, is really important. Um, as well, there's a link between substance use, in particular marijuana use among people who have a risk for schizophrenia, a genetic risk, um, and the development of schizophrenia. So um, uh, if we can reduce um, the, the risk of using marijuana um, among people who are at risk for developing schizophrenia, we may be able to prevent um, some cases. That's, there's um, unclear evidence on that point, but, um, but we know that uh, uh, the people who are younger um, who use um, substances including marijuana, may, it may affect their brain development, and so it's best um, to avoid those substances. Thank you.